So you've heard me talk about Ira and the great service it is. You've seen me unbox some of the equipment. And today we're going to jump into a demonstration of Ira and how it works in real life. What's up VIPs? Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to show you what using Ira is really like in real life, like a real time kind of example. And so what I've got here is a recipe that is handwritten. Now, I have a CCTV that I possibly could use to kind of put this under. The problem is it's handwritten, so sometimes handwriting can be a little bit eh, hard to read. Secondly, I could use something like Seeing AI, but Seeing AI isn't perfect, at least not yet anyway, and so it doesn't always pick up everything I want. But you know what? Ira can do this for me and so today we're going to call into Ira. We're going to get an agent. We're going to tell them we're doing a demo so that they're not freaking out, you know, when I release this later on the web. But that way you can see what it's like in real time. And then if you have questions, you can let me know down below as well. So let me show you how this works. Now, today I'm going to use my phone. You know, you can obviously use the glasses, but today I'm just going to use my phone because the nice thing is you can just use your phone and it uses your camera on your phone and it's a great way to do it. Now, just so you know, this makes it not very hands-free, and so that's important to remember. You're going to have to use it, but then once we you know, get going, I'll show you. It's not that big a deal. So let me go ahead and get into my phone. So I'm going to go down to the Ira app here, okay? I'm going to double tap, open it up, and there we go. The colors, the colors are a little different because I have inverted colors on, so normally it's a black background. But this button, real big button in the middle, call Ira from phone button. it says call Ira from phone, okay? So you would have the option to call from glasses, but since we're using the phone, we're gonna call from the phone. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna turn my voiceover off because I don't want that to interfere with you hearing the agent, and then we will go ahead and make that call. So I'm gonna turn voiceover off, voiceover off. And I'm gonna call the agent and we'll see what happens. So it's real time, go with me on this. Here we go, this is gonna be fun, all right. So it's connecting. Hi, thank you for calling Ira. This is Frankie. How can I help you? Hi, Frankie. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Hey, Hi. Frankie. I just wanted to let you know before we get started, I actually um, am recording a demo for a YouTube channel, and I wanted to make sure it was okay with you that I did that and let you know up front. Yes, that, I'm fine with that. Thank you for asking. We always appreciate it. Awesome. Okay, so basically what we're going to do today is I've got a recipe here that is handwritten. So I just kind of want to get a little bit of information off of that. We don't necessarily have to go through the entire thing, but just some basic information on it. Okay, awesome. So um, what I might have you do so that you don't have to hold uh, the phone quite so still is if you're okay with it, I would like to take a picture of it and then I can read it to you that way. Awesome. That'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to have you move the phone um, toward you just about an inch. Okay. And the paper's a little longer than I thought, so maybe another inch toward you would be great. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to have you hold still right there, and I'm going to snap a picture in three, two, one. Okay, that picture looks like it has taken, and it will be uploading momentarily. One moment, please. Okay, so it looks like that picture um, came out great, so you no longer have to hold the phone over the recipe. You okay. Can, uh, place it down or whatever is convenient for you. Okay. Um, so this recipe is for uh, beefy snow peas. Mm. Um, it calls for flank steak, one and a half pounds, uh, cut into thin strips against the grain of the steak. Um, snow peas, eight ounces, or broccoli. Uh, one chunk of minced ginger, uh, scallions, and peanut oil. And there's a little bit that says uh, less smoking and high temperature. Less smoking so, at high temperature? At high temperature. Okay, yes. okay. And then the next section, um, there's an M just on the line by itself. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's there. <laughs> and then okay. Maybe it means next or something. It says uh, half a cup of low sodium soy sauce, three uh, tablespoons cooking sherry, two tablespoons brown sugar and two tablespoons cornstarch and the minced ginger. And it wants you to whisk together all of those ingredients. There's a little note out to the side that says that. Okay, yeah, maybe the M means and mixing. Below, 
Yes. And then uh, below that, there's like a gap. And then it says pour one third of the marinade over the meat. So I'm assuming what you just whisked together is that marinade. Yeah. Okay. And then below that, you're going to set the, it says skillet on high. And it says add two to three tablespoons of peanut oil, then add snow peas and cook to color. Um, it doesn't specify what color, just like <laughs> cook to color. Fried <laughs> on plate. <laughs> cook to blue color. <laughs> And then when you add it, it says skillet on high, add half meat and half of the scallions. And you will cook and set aside. Uh, and it's got like a little C with a line over it. Um, then it says snow peas. Okay. And then repeat the C with the line over it, second half of meat. Um, I don't know if that's some, this is my, has a meaning to you. It's, a, it's my wife's recipe, so it probably has a meaning to her. So I better find out the okay. meaning for it. <laughs> And then beneath that it says add everything back to pan and um, coat and rest. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, it says coat and then it has that C with the line, rest of marinade, and then sprinkle C with the line, uh, crushed red, pe- red pepper, and it's to serve over rice. And that's the whole thing. Awesome. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I just got to figure out what that C with the line means. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately with handwritten recipes all the time, it's just a little shorthand or whatever. Yeah, well, I, I'll, get a, I'll get a legend for the next time and then we can... R- refer to that so <laughs> awesome right, would you like me to save this photo for you um i can save it to your profile or i can email it to me, email it to you or i can send it to your phone it's your preference or i can delete it yeah why don't you um why don't you send it to my phone okay so are you okay with the ty- title uh, beefy snow peas yes that's a good description okay and in the description i'm going to go ahead and write handwritten um, recipe for beefy Okay, great. Okay, and I'm sending that to your phone now. And I'm also saving it to your profile for good measure. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Frankie. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. And there you have it. So Frankie was a great uh, agent. I've had her a few times before. She's fantastic. Now I'm going to turn voiceover back on. Voiceover on. Okay. Okay. So what you do when you're done is you can rate that call. So I'm going to go down here and swipe. How was your experience? Good. You can you can select good or poor. And some people argue you should have a star rating, but you know what? If the call was good, I've never had a bad call to be honest. So it's always good. So I'm going to double tap. Selected. Good. Then there is a multi-line text field where you can make a comment. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, then I'm going to um, dictate into this. So let's see. Frankie was very helpful in reading a handwritten recipe, exclamation mark. She was also great because I was doing a demonstration for my YouTube channel, period. Excellent work, exclamation mark. Inserted Frankie was very helpful in reading a handwritten recipe. She was also great because I was doing a demonstration for my YouTube channel. Excellent work. Sound output. Okay. Submit button. So we're going to submit. Thanks Double click that. Button. And, and there we go. Messages. So now, remember she said that she was sending this to my phone. So I'm going to go Ira. into the IRA app again because I, for some reason, went out. Ira. Glass. Button. So I'm going to go to the more tab here. More tab. Four. Double tab. More. Heading. We'll go down. Photos. Uber sign. Link. Photos. One new item. Photos, one new item. There it is. Okay. Photos, we'll go up here. Handwritten recipe for beefy snow peas. Handwritten recipe for beefy snow peas. Close button. And there's my picture of the recipe. So now what I can do is I can go up here. Maybe. Save button. I can save and I can save it to my camera roll and I can have it if I want to make reference to it later. I have a little bit of limited vision, so I could reference it later. Or if I was somewhere else and we didn't have the recipe on hand, you know, I could have it for that. Now, some would argue that, well, you could just take a picture of it yourself. Yes, I could, but this has built-in description for it as well. So I'm just going to back out of this, close out of that, out of the app. And there we go. So that's some real time. Ex- and this video was a little long and you had to listen to the whole thing. But here's the thing. By the way, it's a great recipe. Beefy snow peas. We really like it. Anyway, the point is that's a quick way to do it. Now, here's the thing. Some people argue, Derek, you could have done that with seeing AI. Derek, you could have done that with your CCTV. You could have taken a picture and zoomed in on it. Why am I going to spend the money to have some IRA agent go over it with me? 
Let me tell you why. Number one, I enjoy talking to people. If you don't, skip the first thing I just said because, oh well. Number two, going over it with somebody like that helps me to get a big picture of it. Because if I'm zooming in with my CCTV or my or my phone or whatever, sometimes I'm going through and I'm like, what did it say again? You know, I'm not sure, but I can get an over, I can stop, I can listen, and I can have her or he go through that. Thirdly, in a situation like this, I now have an agent who took a picture of this, and this is a recipe, so I could make this for dinner tonight, and I could call another agent, and I could say, hey, I'm making beefy snow peas. There is a picture on my profile of this. Can you pull that up and walk me through the recipe? And they've got it right there. It's ready to go. And then, not only are they helping me read a handwritten thing, they're helping me measure out things. They're helping me to make sure things are getting in the pan, to set the temp on the stove. That's where the power of Ira really comes in. Yes, I could have taken a picture of this and zoomed in on it. Yes, I could have put this under my CCTV and worked on it. But the thing about it was, I had an interaction with somebody who then said, it says this, it's got this line on it, um, and then I could have stopped and said, can you give me that? And honestly, if I wanted her to, she probably could have transcribed this whole thing, typed it out, and sent it to me in digital form. Can't do that necessarily with a lot of different OCR apps. Now, you would say, oh, seeing AI would do that. It would send it to you. It would, but it wouldn't always get the right information. And with Ira, it's great. Now, does that mean that I should always get Ira and never use seeing AI ever again? No, absolutely not. Seeing AI is great, but I really love this service. So I wanted to give you a real life demonstration here at home showing you how this works. My hope is to get a real life demonstration out and about, but I'm still working on how to record that. So keep your eye out. You never know what'll happen. So there you go, my friends, a real life demonstration. Shout out to Frankie for helping me with that. She was great. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Hey, my question for you today is, what did you think about this demonstration? Was it helpful? Did you find it helpful? Do you think ah, I would have just done it with my CCTV or TV or whatever, you know, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear about it, and I'm sure others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, thank you so much for sticking with me all the way through this video. I know it was a little longer than usual, but I really appreciate it. And if you found it helpful, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it out with somebody that you know, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks for watching wherever you are, and until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com. And I'll see you in the next one.